Do you remember coming out here? This is way too creepy. I'd never let you take me here. Did you hear that? I can barely see that there's something. Come on. Let's get to town. What the fuck? What? Yeah. This one. Shit. You know what this means, don't you? Fuck. We're gonna have to talk to Sam. Uh-huh. You at the hotel for the ferry drop-off? such a popular tourist spot. Uh, it's better for us. It's no hassle with people getting in shots. Do they have a bar around here? For food, you guys. Right. Right. We need to see the sheriff as soon as possible, so let's check in and get on with it. Morning, neighbor. Jesus Christ, Lucas. You scared the shit out of me. Obviously. <laughs> you need to stop sneaking up on people. You're starting to creep them out. Really? You think that's what it is? What the fuck do you want? You called me. Oh, shit. All right. We got our message today. That is nothing but good news. You're a sick fuck, Lucas. You need to control yourself. Yeah. And just what are you or anybody else going to do about that, Jacob? Last time I checked, you can't control your wife. And that kid of yours still isn't straight about what we do here. So I'm on your own goddamn backyard, you weak fuck. Don't judge me. We can ditch everyone, go to the beach. <laughs> Bring a blanket. Yeah, it wasn't easy explaining how I got sand all over me. So I can't believe my dad bought that. I'm starting to think they know what we do. <laughs> Actually, I don't. My dad would be way too pissed not to say anything. I'm more worried about your mom and dad. <laughs> What's to worry about? My mom is cool with us for sure. And my dad... I don't know. 
Lately, he seems distracted. He keeps walking away from me. He's always busy. He's got a lot on his mind. There's that film crew coming, and my dad is really uptight about that for some reason. Yeah, that could be it. So, you have something special planned for us at the beach? <laughs> something to really take me by surprise? Uh, maybe. I hope you think it's a good idea, but... You always come up with something good, Sam. <laughs> I had no fucking idea. <laughs> there were no pictures. Well, this is the only hotel on the island. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, um, we have a reservation for two rooms. Right, the film crew. The Ryersons and Miss Kane, was it? That's us. Okay. I'm headed over to the bar to finish cleaning up from last night. I'll be back later. But don't worry, Sam is on his way to help you. Fine, I'm helping customers here. Yeah, you're a big fucking help. Um, I'm sorry, you can pay with uh, cash or credit card. Usually we pay when we leave. We require you to pay up front, sir. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right, we have uh, three for the Ryersons and room two for April Kane. If you guys need anything, give me a call. Thanks. My son Sam will help you with your bags. Sam! Hi. Hi. Take a step for ya. Oh, thank you boys, so much. Boys, boys. Just me, folks. April, we're gonna meet at the bar for drinks at 7. Stace, we gotta go meet the sheriff. All right, this is the room. Right over here. Of course. Hey, I, I know this is not the Marriott or anything, but uh, if you need some help, look for me. My dad's almost never here. Cool, Sam. Thanks, dude. Thanks much. You folks have a good visit. <sighs> this place is an absolute shithole. I can sleep in this bed, hon. The bathroom's even worse. What the hell? Stays. What? There's some stains in here that look very peculiar. Oh. How's the shower? Oh. Let him take a shower after your shower. Oh, that sucks. Ugh, I stink. Well, I'm just gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna try to get clean. Jacob, how can I help you? We got our message today. What message? Oh, right. There's always a payday. All right, when do we start? As soon as possible. I let Heidegger know. He was overjoyed, of course. Oh, and he absolutely had to know. Don't you think we're just better off without him? This gets ugly, John. Lucas has a temperament for it. Hey, you know where we are on this, right? This new girl's our best chance. 
Otherwise, there's only one person left. You know I'll do whatever I have to, to a point. See, I keep my word, but not my brook. Uh-uh. Jacob, we'll all die first. I know, John. We're all going to do our best. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Elder Island. I'm Sheriff Ree. You're the Ryerson film crew. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Yeah, my pleasure. Is now a good time to talk about the shooting schedule on the island? Well, yeah. You pretty much can shoot anywhere you want. But beware. This island can throw people. They get lost, and we've had a few instances where they don't get back. Now, you can come by tomorrow at noon and conduct that interview. But I gotta be honest. I don't have a lot to tell you. Yeah, but as we discussed, you can go ask Wittgenstein. He's the owner of the island. Well, he's actually the owner of the hotel you're staying at. So, I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Great. Great. All right. Thanks for morning, Sheriff. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, Sheriff. All right. Have a good day. You folks be careful out in the woods. Thank you. Honey? You're gonna need a lot more than that. <laughs> hey, excuse me, friend. <laughs> so good to see you. Professor, what's this doing with you? Yeah, this was in the 50s on this island, so you can imagine there was no forensic technology. This is an old native legend. Yes. When I was doing my research, I invariably had to go to the local natives to get anything. Even the people on the mainland had typed lipped about this place. Some of my evidence seems to suggest that the reason everyone is so closed off to outsiders is that the islanders actually have had a hand in some of the deaths that have taken place over the years in this island. Look at some of the documents I brought with me. The Wittgenstein family's mentioned here. The ones that own the hotel. Yes. Uncomfortable, isn't it? This reverend really lived here and called himself king? Indeed he did. Leave him. God will decide if he lives or dies. It's over, reverend. You and yours must answer for the murder of Hans Schultz. Come out peacefully and surrender. You've pushed them too far, my love. No, my dear wife. I haven't pushed them enough. And now they mean to arrest me without justification for their sins? See it through their eyes. It will be days before the mainlanders can get here. The boys and I will gather the flock and set things right, but not if they begin to shoot. Show them that you are better, that yours is the way of truth and the rest of the congregation will follow. No one will oppose you then. My wife, <laughs> you are so wise.
You will pay for this. I will tear out your hearts like you tore out mine. Your family will never have peace. That would explain why he didn't have many followers. Reaching from fear has never lost its appeal. Oh, look at the time. Uh, look, I, uh, I have to go meet with some locals, but I will be back. Let's get together for a drink and share some stories. I'll be back later for that drink. Sounds good. See you later night, Professor. Night, Professor. The info we had seemed legit. Well, some of it makes the families on this island a little inbred. Slim pickings for April. <laughs> I'm hungry. Too. Where is April? It's after seven. I don't know. Think she got lost finding the restaurant? This is a restaurant? <laughs> it is. It's a restaurant slash bar. Slash post office. What? <laughs> well, to answer your question, no. I think she's just taking a nap. We'll give her a few more minutes, and then we'll give her a call. She'll never forgive us if she misses dinner. Hey, you guys, I'm totally freaking out right now. What happened? I swear I just saw something in my bathroom. Come on, April, don't lose it on us now. No, I'm not. I was just in there, and... This place sucks, okay? I mean... Are you both sufficiently disgusted by our lodging circumstances? That was the grossest shower I have ever taken. I feel dirtier now than I did before. April, don't be scared, but... Oh my God, what is it? What is it? Nah, not funny. He's just being a jackass. There's nothing on you. I thought it was funny. I'm talking about a place, Ned. Yeah, Ned. Come on. Isn't this bad enough? Yeah, Ned, and we're hungry. Let's order, huh? This is a restaurant, too? And a post office. How are you folks? Can I take your order? Um, we haven't seen the menus yet. Suit yourselves, but there's only four things we got. Chicken fingers, little pizzas, beer, and hard liquor. The rest of that menu, stop being real in the 80s. Okay, um, can you give us a second? Suit yourselves. Thank you. <laughs> Chicken fingers for me, I guess. Same. I'll take the little pizza. And a shot. And a beer. <laughs> That's a beer for me, too. Drinks. You folks decide what you want? Yes. Tours of chicken fingers, one pizza, three beers, and a shot of Jack. Got it. It'll be about an hour for the food. An hour to microwave food. Our microwave is very Okay, uh, open a tab for us? Already did. Thanks. Hey, hey. How are you, my hippie friend? What makes you think I'm a hippie, Captain? I don't give a fuck if you are or not. I'm just making conversation. You look like one. No, no, I'm not a hippie. There's nothing. Wrong with that, is there? Yes, there is. A bunch of free loving assholes doing drugs and generally being weak human beings. Like Manson. 
He was a, a hippie too, right? No, not like Manson, you ignorant fuck. Manson was a hippie, but at least he had a plan. He just fucked it up. The, the hippie in him fucked it up. All right. Yeah, cool, man. Well, uh, you have a good night, too. Where there is love, let me see. Jesus, this place cleared out fast, so it's four other people. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. Hey, it's late. We gotta go to bed. April, you gotta come with us. We gotta go now. I can't believe I got this drunk. Um, come on, you guys. Just one more. No. No, fuck no. Mm. I'm going to bed, tab's paid, let's go. Come on. God damn, I knew I stayed out here too long. <laughs> oh, baby. No birth control. We might have gotten pregnant. <sighs> Why the fuck would you say something like that?
that's good. <sighs> you were so young. So sweet. You begged me. You cried. You gave me so much more than I gave you. It's just not fair to make me wait 20 years. It's not my fault there's no one left on this island, you weak motherfuckers. Don't make it tough on us, Lucas. Don't make it work for us. Fuck you, Wittgenstein! I do all the hard work on this island, and all you do is kiss him goodnight. Well, I'm ready for him this time. So this has been your job for the past 20 years? Just about. And how many unusual deaths have occurred here since then? Boy, uh, maybe seven to 10. And what about the tales of the, uh, the Reverend King on this island? Do you think that the deaths could have anything to do with that? Every time I hear that story, I just have to chuckle. <laughs> I mean, Island King. King of who? Well, his followers who supposedly gunned him down. That story's gotta be at least 150 years old. I was talking with a professor Moore, and not only did he claim that the legends were true, but he also inferred that some of the natives on this island have seen the Reverend's presence more than once over the past century. Do you have any comment on that, Sheriff? Look, there is no connection between the deaths and the Reverend. That's an old native tale, and it's ridiculous. You know, this has been a good time, but I got to get back to work. Okay. Well, thank you, Sheriff. You did a great job. You know, there's a lot of crazy stories about this island. Some true, most not. You know, somebody embellishes an old tale and credits it to the natives. You got yourself a truth. It's true, people gonna believe what they want to believe. But what's also true, if you look too deep into this, you're gonna find more than you bargained for. You folks have a safe stay. You can let yourselves out. It is believed that some of the families on the island have been part of the horrendous crimes that have been committed. Heidegger, Re, and Wittgenstein. This can't be real. You really needed that interview. What was with that sheriff guy? One minute he was fine, and then the next minute he was freaking out because you started talking about the Reverend. Wasn't that forever ago? I don't know, maybe one of his ancestors was involved. I don't know. Why was he so adamant that it had nothing to do with the island's history? I mean, we weren't even asking him that. Mm -hmm. Did you misunderstand the question, or were we insinuating it? Maybe. Well, let's not worry about it. When we get back, we'll just look at the footage. And oh, we'll shit! <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, That's the professor's hey, You OK? You OK? Hold on. I got to get this. Don't what do touch anything. Aww. Be careful. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Go on. Oh my god. Sheriff? Sheriff! We found a body in the woods we think is our friend, Professor Moore. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. Now, tell me what you saw. We're pretty sure it was bad, but it was his hat. It was definitely his hat. That does not sound good. Why don't you show me? 
Follow me. Then they shot the Reverend's family. I don't believe it. I mean, my dad is the sheriff here. How could he not know about this? He must know. Don't get me wrong, Sam. I believe you, but still. What? There's more. But my dad said he'd tell me later. God, I hate this place. We have to get off this island. I know how crazy all this sounds, but I have a plan to get us out of this. Actually, I've had a plan. I just didn't know when we could use it until now. I know. That's why I picked it. We can leave Sunday night on the ferry. How are we just gonna disappear? I'm working on it. So this is just how you found him. You didn't touch him or take anything off the body? No, that's, uh, that's how we left him. Looks bad. I'm gonna have to get you folks back into town. I've suddenly got a lot of work to do. Jesus Christ, you guys. I signed up to be in a documentary, not deal with this crazy shit. I've never seen anything like that before. We haven't either. I really want to get out of here. I know you do, April. But it's too late to get a boat back tonight. We're going to have to try tomorrow. I've just never seen a dead body before. I don't know if I can take this. I'm gonna go, go back to my room and lay down and... If you guys go anywhere, you promise me you'll come get me, right? Absolutely. Sure. Okay. I think we should get the hell out of here. I want to finish this just as bad as you do, but something does not feel right. Plus, April didn't sign on for this. It was an accident. His leg got caught in a trap and an animal got him. If we're careful, Stacey, we stick together. Stacy, something doesn't feel right. We need to get out of here. Oh, come on. They warned us about those woods over and over again. He shouldn't have been out there by himself. I don't think he would want us to give up this easily. This is his work. Stacy, I think he was murdered. I saw the body up close. No animal does that. His head was cut clean off. His arms were cut clean off. There wasn't a bite mark on him. Plus, his fucking heart was ripped out. I would have told you sooner, but I've been trying to process it myself. It doesn't feel right. We need to get the hell out of here. Looks like something got to the body. Someone. He was hacked apart. Heidegger, did you contact the mainland authorities? Not a chance. I'm good. Still. We're losing control of him.
I'm going out. Where the hell are all the men? <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking myself that question for years. Oh, man. So what you having, girlie? Um, I don't know. You got any tequila? Damn. <laughs> Hitting the hard stuff. You know. So you're going to have one with me, right? <laughs> all right. Nice. You like worms? Sure. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Got it up. <laughs> Good. Just doing one more. You gotta chase that go Oh, boy. yeah. Quite the burn. <laughs> Oh, Maria, no. I can't go back to that hotel. The place is so creepy. That's my family's hotel. Yeah, I didn't mean like, I didn't mean like creepy, like creepy, creepy. I just, oh, just I don't just like freaked out. That's what it is. Like, what is the case? Like, just too much. It must have been so scary, sweetie. Seeing him all cut up. Yeah. It was horrible. It was the fucking worst. Can I just stay here? Like, <laughs> wait, no, 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 no. Wait here. Come on. Time to go. I gotta close up now. Come on, girly. Okay, come here now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, Maria. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hey. Hello, Maria. What the fuck are you doing here? What your husband should have long ago. <clears throat> now, let's see if we can find some niceness on the inside.
gotta be shitting me. This is way too easy. You weren't planning on leaving just yet, were you? You little fucking slut! Get your jacket off! Get it off! Get it off! I'll do whatever you want. I know you'll do anything you want. Let me just tell you this. I'm a tiny man. You're going to be dying. We're gonna get real. Sam, you want some breakfast? Sam, where are you going? Be right back. Where's mom? I don't know. You know your mom. I thought so. April! April, you in there? Up. We gotta find her. Let's go to the sheriff. Nice backpack. Is that new? Yeah, my folks just got it for me. <laughs> How you doing this morning, bud? So far, so good. You look a little worried, man. And I'll tell you what, there's much to be nervous in this world about. And friends and family aren't two of them. And we are friends and family, eh? Look, don't get too agitated. You stick with us, and we'll stick with you, right? Sure. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> That a boy. You're gonna get along just great. So you looking for Brooke? Yeah, I was actually just headed over there. Hop in. I was gonna get some ice cream. I wanna see if you come along. Is that cool with you, Dad? Sure, sweetheart. Have fun. You look after my girl, Sam. Yes, sir. You're not gonna believe this. Oh, 
my God. I got that in the woods. It was that professor as I was staying at the hotel. He's dead. You know what this means? Things are gonna get a lot worse around here. Well, if it isn't the island pups. Oh, my. You have grown into a beautiful woman. You're a lucky boy, Sam. Thank you. I wanted you to tell your father that I took care of April. He'll know what that means. I'll let him know. I think he was right. I'm sure you will, dear. You know, it's such a pleasure to see you again. I would like to deliver more messages to you in the future. A treasure like you. Have a nice day, sweetie. Sam. I contacted the mainland sheriff's office, and I reported you finding the professor's body. We're sorry to disturb you, Sheriff. It doesn't have to do with that. We can't find April. Please, have a seat. That cute little girl you came in with, when's the last time you saw her? Last night. <clears throat> we waited for her to come down for breakfast, but she never showed up. So then we went to her room, and she wasn't there. Is it possible that she's still asleep? No, we checked. The room's empty. I have to get this. Hello, Sheriff Ree here. Where the fuck is Maria, John? How the hell am I supposed to know? She's your wife. Fuck you, John. I know what's up. I haven't seen her all day. She didn't come home last night. All right, all right, all right, already. Fine. I'll be over soon. <sighs> Look. I know you're disconcerted in what you saw. Sheriff, with all due respect, we've already had one person die. And Maybe you, you could honestly just... think there were two killings in two nights? Well, well look. We... Why don't you two go look for your friend? It's a small town, and she could go missing for hours. And if you don't find her by six, you come back here and see me. Oh, keep an eye out. Leave a message at your hotel if I hear anything, OK? Thank you, Sheriff. Of course. You folks be careful now. Hi, darling. Hey, What's on your mind, girl? Mr. Heidegger just spoke to me. He did? Yeah, just now. He said that you would know what he meant if I told you that April had been taken care of. Who's April? Jesus Christ, he's going to screw this whole thing up. Afternoon, Sheriff. Jacob? What can I do for you? Cut the shit. You got the girl in there, what? We don't have time for your games, Lucas. She's none of your concern. I told your lovely daughter it was taken care of. Let's not forget, your book may be our last hope. Oh, don't you mention my daughter. Don't you look at my daughter. To you, my daughter doesn't exist. John, let him go. John, this won't just ain't good. What had to be done? I shouldn't have to explain myself to you. She we... could have been the one, you fool! You put us all at risk. No! I dealt with it. She was way too much of a whore for him. He'd have never taken her. Besides, now she can't go back and start asking questions. Everyone is off limits to you. Nobody would have started asking anything at all if you just let it be. Where's the body? He's fucking lost it. I mean, who chops a body into little pieces and buries it next to his tomatoes? 
A psychopath, that's who. We all know Lucas's deficits. Oh, cut it out. That's unnecessary, and he enjoys it. We need to have a serious talk with him. Good. Where's Maria? No room in this place for an adulteress. I still can't believe that my folks have anything to do with this. Mm -hmm. I'm freaking out. I know. I couldn't get to sleep last night. And when I did, I had this awful dream about being chased in the woods by something and running as fast as I could. I am so scared, Sam. What am I gonna do? We have to leave today. Tonight. But I have to warn that couple. Okay. Spend the rest of the day getting some stuff, only the most important stuff, and wait till your dad's left the house to get it together. Put your stuff in a waterproof bag for our trip. Tonight, we'll split off and head to the docks. Okay. I am still scared. Hey, me too. We just have to keep it together for today. We can do this. Watch and listen. I'll do the same. Maybe we can get some info that might help us. And that couple at the hotel, you can warn them. I have to try. I'll see you later. Be careful. No sign of April anywhere, and now no sheriff. I can't fucking believe this island has no cell service. Where the hell is he? This is bad in so many ways. Hey. Did you find April? Yes, I found her body. <gasps> Are you telling us that April is dead? That's what I'm telling you. What the hell is going on here? That, that has to be wrong. You need to explain this to us, Sheriff. Yeah, we're responsible for her, Sheriff. Hey, I warned you about the woods. These things happen. Is that some kind of a fucking joke? You might want to watch it here, Mr. Ryerson. Don't you make my job any harder. You two get back to your room and wait for my call. This whole mess could be over for you soon. Come on. Come on. This fucking Make sure you get all our stuff. Don't leave anything behind. All right, hurry. We're getting the hell out of here. Right. God, that sheriff scared the shit out of me. Don't worry, we're Please. not going to see his ass again. folks need to get off this island. It's all something we don't know, kid. I know a way out of here. Oh my god, that's great. But you have to take me and my girlfriend with you. We don't know anyone on the mainland, and we need help once we get there. Okay? It's no problem, man. You get us off this island, Sam, you have no worries. No worries. Okay, then we have to get going. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna pack everything up. We'll meet you out front in 10 minutes. 10 minutes! Okay, I'll get my girlfriend. A few things from Mama. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Folks plan on checking out? We have to go now. Grab some stuff quick. We're gonna leave the Ryersons. The Ryersons? They're, yeah, they're here staying at the hotel. They had another woman with them? But she's gone. 
Gone where? I don't think I want to know. Just get your stuff and get out of here. I'm really sorry about this, folks. I do it. I think we're worried about prosecution. I can't speak for the sheriff here, but I'd gladly go to jail. So what? Everyone in this town has something on you? Sheriff, for Christ's sakes, what the hell is going on? You know, there's a reason I've been here for 20 years. One day, many years ago, I came home and found my wife in bed. And no, she wasn't alone. And he was my best fucking friend. I took matters into my own hands. They're both gone now. I moved here, and it became part of the family, you could say. The Ree family's part of the original deal. I changed my name, and I became an Islander. And my daughter and his son are quite close. Relax. The Reverend's was not overly cruel. The Reverend? What the fuck are you guys talking about? With some reverends going around killing people? You mean the reverend? From the legend? You know, it doesn't matter how you see him. He's always been here. The reverend killed them all in one way or the other, and we have to help him. You see, the original families on this island, we're all cursed. Over a century and a half ago, our families worked out an agreement with the reverend. An agreement that my family's been paying for ever since. An agreement that puts you where you are now. And this reverend came to my ancestor, Peter Wiggenstein's house, the very night he was resurrected from the grave, and told him that we were to, well, find him a new wife to rebuild his family when the time came. I know it seems hard to understand. Believe me, it's, it's total insanity if you aren't living it. Our families had no choice. The reverend becomes something inhuman and, and, and unreal. So, <laughs> this freak and the rest of you are responsible for April and the professor's deaths. Well, not so directly this time. But you could say we all took part in some way. I just can't tell anymore. Whoa, 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 no, 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 like this, like this. You gotta do it like that. Okay, Shut okay, it. then go left, go left, go, go left, go left. This is what left is. I mean, still look at my hand. My hand's going straight. Don't look at my hand. Look at the road. What are you doing? Put your hand on the road. First rule, keep your eyes on the road. Do you see them? No, they're supposed to be here. All right, stay here. Move the car if anyone comes. I'm gonna sneak around back. Be fast. Taken. This means we have to go to the woods. Yeah. I think I know where to move over. Come on. Come okay. on. Okay. You're driving now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. R, right? That's Are you a, kidding me? You back up with R, right? That's the thing. That's the thing. I know. I, know I was asking to make sure. Oh my okay? god. Jacob. That was a long time ago. What does it even matter? They buried the Reverend on Graves Island, where the Indians buried their dead for centuries. 
Nobody knows why he came back to life. Oh. Come on, guys, this way, this way. Oh, oh my God. This way, this way. What happened? What happened? Where'd they go? I don't know. Get up, you wussy ass son of a bitch. Where'd they go? Uh, I don't no. Know. take my family's boat. All we have to do is get to the dock before they do. The boat's moored there and the keys are in it. So if we get out of the dock, we're good. If we get stuck here, we're dead. And don't forget, you promised that once we get to the mainland, you would help us and not just ditch when we get there, okay? We would never dream of leaving you guys. All right, you can stay with us as long as you want. Sam, when you get us out of here, man, I'll build you a guest house myself, okay? <laughs> Go, 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 go! Get, 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 get! You almost killed my son! Fucking coward! Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god! You fucking idiot. We're both dead now. Yeah. We probably are. You haven't got the courage. <laughs> Your mistake, Lucas. Dad. Dad. last, the circle is broken. I've waited for so long. The reckoning has finally come for you all. I'm not Peter. He know what to do with you. 
I'd like you to thank your son for me. But unfortunately, that's not going to be possible. <laughs>